Hey guys and welcome back. If you're new here, I'm Joe Kristoff, very nice to meet you, and I am a huge fan of everything creepy and spooky. If you do enjoy the video, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Let's not waste any time and get straight to it. Tonight we're going to be talking about Slaughterhouse Canyon in Arizona. This is actually one that I hadn't heard of before. I was looking online last night and just came across it. It is horrifying. Now Slaughterhouse Canyon, also known as Luana's Canyon, is southeast of Kingman, Arizona. It's about an hour away from the Grand Canyon. Now this gruesome story starts in the 1800s, the time of the gold rush. A family had moved out to Arizona in search of gold. It was a husband, a wife, and their two children. Going west to get some gold? Sign me up. This family lived in a small wooden shack. Now this canyon is located in the foothills of the, forgive me if I slaughter this word, the Halupi Mountains. Now the husband would venture out for weeks at a time, obviously going to try to find gold, but also collecting food to bring back to his family. Apparently my research claims that he did this via mule. His wife Luana stayed home to tend to the children. Sometimes weeks and weeks would go by and Luana would be so worried about her husband, but he'd always come back sooner or later. But one time the husband left, kissed her goodbye, hugged his children, and he never returned. Weeks and weeks and months went by, but he never came back. Soon his wife and children start to starve. Now here's where the story gets kind of unbelievable because how, how would they starve? They could be resourceful themselves. I know that there probably were at least rabbits or some type of animal that they could catch and eat or maybe, you know, fishing anything like that, they should have been more resourceful than just sitting in their little wooden shack and starving to death. Now, if you didn't know this, when someone's starving after a certain amount of time, they begin to hallucinate. This starts happening to Luana. She's watching her children suffer and starve right before her eyes while she's starving too. And as you know with canyons, when something is loud, it echoes back and forth between the canyon. So not only was Luana watching her children starve before her eyes, but she could hear their constant crying and suffering echoing back and forth between the canyon. I mean, that's enough to drive somebody mad, don't you think? Days and days go by. She continues to hallucinate hearing her children's suffering echoing back and forth between the canyon, slowly driving her to the point of madness. Now, if gory stuff truly disturbs you, it's time to turn the video off because this is where it gets real. One of these nights, there was a violent thunderstorm on top of the canyon. They were all inside their wooden little shack and Luana was in the bedroom looking at her wedding dress. Now, I can't even imagine what she was thinking as she stood there in her room looking down at the wedding dress realizing that her husband was most likely dead and that their fate would soon be the same too. She decides to put the wedding dress on. She grabs the ax that her husband used to chop wood, leaves the bedroom and walks down the hallway where the children are and chops her children up in little pieces. The screaming and crying of the children became louder and louder, but didn't last much longer. The articles that I have read about this was that this woman was sick and tired of seeing her children suffer, that she knew they were going to die, so she thought she would make it quick and painless. But it's not really painless though. <laughs> she cried as she killed her children, and when the deed was done, she chopped them into even smaller pieces. By this time, her wedding dress and the room in this little shack was smothered in blood. After this, she takes the pieces and goes down to the nearby river. As she weeps, she dumps the remains of her children into the river and watches them float away. She stayed weeping by the river until the next day. When the sun was rising, she went back to the shack. She suffers and starves in the shack for a couple more days, leaving her bloody wedding dress on, grieving the loss of her husband and her children now. A few days later, she finally dies of starvation. This has to be one of the most sad, horrifying, unfortunate, 
ghost stories that I think I've ever heard. Now, some locals of Slaughterhouse Canyon claim that if you go there late at night, you can still hear the Bloody Bride screaming and crying in the distance, echoing from the canyon. Some even claim that if you go there on a full moon, and you go to where that river is, that you can still see the Bloody Bride standing there staring into the water. Others claim that anywhere in the canyon, certain times of night, you can just see her walking around looking for her children and husband. Some really creepy stuff. I think I want to go there too. Now, unfortunately, the shack is no longer there. I mean, if you really think about it, a small wooden shack from the 1800s probably would have rotted or been torn down by now. But fortunately, the canyon is still there, so you can still go check it out. But beware, don't go when it's nighttime, and especially on the full moon. I mean, can you imagine you go to this place late at night one time and you're walking around and you see this woman in a bloody wedding dress in the middle of the desert walking around screaming and crying? Oh my God, I, I'd be running so fast out of there. <laughs> so what do you think? Do you think it's a real story or do you think it's something that was made up just to entertain the locals? I think it's real. But regardless, let me know in the comments what you think. Also, if anyone has been to this location and had any kind of paranormal experience there, I would be thrilled to hear about it. Comment, message me, something. I would love to hear your experiences. Well, that about wraps this episode up, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. And if you are new here and you enjoyed the video, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Oh, and one more thing, YouTube, stay creepy.